a mobile port developed by a single developer releasing for a budget price on the hottest console currently available. What could possibly go wrong? Turns out very little. Rush Rally 3 is a shining example of a developer who has poured his heart and soul into a project and the result is one of the best driving games on the Switch. Let's find out where it ranks as I review Rush Rally 3 on the Nintendo Switch. The Rush Rally series came to life in 2014 on mobile devices, but this wasn't developer Stephen Brown's first rodeo. An industry veteran who'd worked on a plethora of racing titles including Sonic Racing, Split Second and F1 games, as well as contributing to the vehicle sections in the recent Crackdown 3 on Xbox One, it was no surprise Rush Rally found a passionate community on iOS and Android. Early in 2019, the third iteration in the series landed on mobile with Rush Rally 3 and this has now been ported to the Switch to stand alongside games like Grid, but more specifically the rally games on the system, namely the recently released WRC 8 and V Rally 4. Quite remarkably, not only can Rush Rally 3 stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with those big budget releases, it surpasses them in many areas and for me, someone who wouldn't consider rally in my most enjoyable discipline in sim racing, this is one of the most fun and thrilling driving games I've ever played. Offering up a nice selection of different modes, most players will most likely dive into the career mode first, where you will start in the junior category and after buying a rookie car, make your way through four series to reach the final Rush Rally Championship. Categories are limited to certain spec cars and you will need to buy a car suitable for the category once you unlock it, which may require some grind to earn enough cash for even the most basic car in that category. There are 15 cars to buy and whilst unlicensed, some subtle name changes mean you should be able to recognise the iconic range of rally vehicles here. There is also a robust livery editor and upgrade system in place too, which is great for those players that like to tinker. Each category is made up of multiple events from around the world, with each country offering different environmental effects from weather, time of day and surfaces. The tracks feel really nice and diverse and the physics effects on different terrain can be felt through the handling and the stages that swap between gravel or snow and tarmac are a particular highlight. You can also try a hot lap of a single stage or rallycross track, each with its own online leaderboard, or you can try your luck in a multiple car race on the rallycross tracks and even take on some non-standard challenges such as racing against oncoming traffic on a country road. Whilst there is no direct head-to-head -head online mode, you can race on a local network, even against other players on the mobile devices, which is a great feature. And finally, the game features a weekly live event where everyone races on the same stage to try and post the fastest time possible. Whilst the game features a nice variety of modes, I did prefer the career mode in WRC 8 due to it being a little bit more in-depth, and of course the official licenses do help there. But that said, you won't be short of things to do in Rush Rally 3. On track is where Rush Rally really shines though, and the cars have a nice heft and sense of speed is breathtaking at times. If you like your racing on the edge of your seat then you'll have a sore backside after a session racing through the winding roads here. The unique tension in rally racing is brought right to the fore, as you fly down the track eyes wide open knowing that one slight mistake is going to have you wrapping your car around a tree or flying off a mountainside. This is where my relationship with rally games tends to sour as the frustration of learning a point to point track is time consuming but what I love about Rush Rally 3 is it has the option to use a racing line which along with the co-pilot pace notes and an on screen map means you should be well prepared for what corner is coming up next. I can't recall a rally game with a racing line on it before and it's a feature that I will utilise in most racing games so it is very welcome for me here. If you think this makes the game too easy, then don't worry. Like most things in Rush Ready 3, you can tailor the options to suit your needs and all assistance from the map, racing line, braking aids and so on can be toggled on and off. I would advise leaving most things on whilst you learn the game as an excellent damage model can take effect with each rock or log you strike until you're comfortable with the layouts. Talking of options, Rush Ready 3 has taken a leaf out of Grid's book and allows you to play around with a few different performance options. As well as the ability to toggle between 30 and 60 frames per second, you can also tinker with a number of graphical settings to help get the game running as smoothly as you wish, and these can be different from handheld and docked too. Performance on the whole is decent, with high graphics enabled running at 60 frames per second. This game still shifts, although frequently will drop to a frame rate around the mid 50s. The 30 frames a second option is a more solid experience, but you can at least make these selections yourself. I did encounter a few micro stutters at points as well during some rallies, 
but if you decrease some of the graphical effects you can get around them and at the end of the day nothing was game breaking or spoiled my enjoyment of the game. Graphically Rush Rally is a bit of a mixed bag. There are moments where it can look really nice in motion in many of the locations, then there are issues like some sharp edges of polygons, low resolution decals on cars and one of the big problems is that the same cockpit has been used for every vehicle. There are a few different camera angles to use from the usual cockpit and chase cams to a quite super retro inspired helicopter cam which gives me Micro Machines vibes. You really have to try that one out. Sonically as well the game is fine although I think the engine noises could have been a little bit beefier although I'm not an expert on sound output in every car in the world. The co-pilot voice is clear though which is the main thing and generally the sound effects featured in the game were pleasant enough although you'll likely kill the repetitive music track used in the menus fairly quickly. Whilst I'm talking about the menus it has to be said the front end navigation is particularly frustrating and hard to use with a setup better suited to its touchscreen routes. I'd like an option for a free cursor in the menus rather than one that snaps around the screen to options but this is a minor gripe really. So in summary Rush Rally 3 is a top tier driving experience. It won't displace Grid from the best racing game on the Switch for me especially once the live multiplayer arrives in that game but again for a game developed by just one person to be in the conversation of best racing games on a mainstream console is still pretty impressive. Inevitably there are some rough edges here particularly in the overall presentation that do need to be overlooked considering the price of the game and its development history but Steven is a developer that listens to his community so I'd absolutely expect some improvements to follow soon. In fact there is a patch plan close to launch that will be adding not only HD Rumble but also support for GameCube controllers and the analogue control that they offer on braking and acceleration. These rough edges aside if you're looking for a fast challenging but fun racing game then Rush Rally 3 delivers in spades and it simply is a must if you like rallying games in general. It's the best rally game the Switch has to offer so far and rounds off a great year for racing fans on the Nintendo Switch with another solid title. I'm going to be awarding Rush Rally 3 on the Nintendo Switch an excellent 8 out of 10 and as I say it's a must buy if you're a driving fan. With a little bit of polish and head to head multiplayer this could definitely score more as well. So there you go, hope you enjoyed that review of Rush Rally 3 on the Nintendo Switch. Please leave me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're new here and also leave me a comment below if you're going to be picking this one up and I uh, hope you've enjoyed my coverage of this one in the past week or so. Please go back and check out my career mode playthrough if you haven't seen that yet and I will leave you with that. Say goodbye, wish you all a good Christmas and I'll see you again soon. Cheers everyone, bye bye.